So our next speaker is uh, Shauna Sadowski, and she's the Director of Sustainability at Annie's, which is an organic and natural foods company that's based in Berkeley. And she leads the company's sustainability efforts. Uh, before she worked at Annie's, she worked on sustainabil sustainability issues with the food sector at Cliff Bar and Company, Fork in the Road Foods, and Businesses for S Social Responsibility. And before she transitioned in to consumer products, um, she worked with a variety of industries as a management consultant. And her commitment to sustainability stems from her many years of growing up on a farm in Saskatchewan, Canada. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for, uh, for having me. It's great to be on this panel with me fellow panelists, um, great experts in the field. So I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach um, because I'm talking from a company perspective and I want to share with you our perspective on how we're working to uh, contribute to a more sustainable food system. So just stepping back a little bit, um, how many of you here in the room are familiar with Annie's? Great. Um, so we were founded back in 1989 by none other than a woman named Annie. Um, she is, uh, some of you might be familiar then, if since you are familiar with the products, the rabbit that we have on our package. And it actually was from a real rabbit because Annie, when she started the company, Annie's a very shy, rather timid woman, um, as seen here in this photo. And she didn't want to have her photo or anything resembling herself. So she had a pet rabbit at the time um, named Bernie. And that's who um, the Bernie, the rabbit of approval mascot, mascot is, is based on. So she started it up, co-founded it back in 1989. And her mission in starting the company was really to do something different, to do business differently than what, at that point in time, in 1989, um, was the only other real available option uh, on the market, and to do it in a way that really espoused um, more socially responsible values. And since that time, we have continued to grow and evolve um, in, in terms of what we do. And so I wanted to share with you our mission, which is to cultivate a healthier, happier world by spreading goodness through nourishing foods, honest words, and conduct that is considerate and forever kind to the planet. So we are, even though we're actually pretty well distributed, we have um, more than 125 products across 25,000 um, or 125,000 different um, retail outlets across the nation, we actually are pretty small as a company still. We have about 100 people, and our senior leadership team is, is very actively involved. I work directly with them um, in heading up our sustainability efforts. And this mission is, is truly a guiding force and a guiding principle in, in how we make and our decisions on, on a daily basis. And so the best way to really show you how we approach it is through this graphic here um, we call our sustainability ecosystem. And if you start in the center, this is kind of the core. It's the, a farm to fork philosophy, um, as we call it, in terms of how we think about food and, and where it comes from and, and how we're trying to make a more positive impact um, in getting better food to, to consumers. So really, food starts on a farm. Food doesn't just show up on the grocery store. It actually started with a farmer who who grew and you know raised a crop, raised you know raised a, a herd of livestock, and from there the food transfers to some sort of processing stage. At which point it's converted into flour or milk or. or um, cheese or whatever it may be. And then from the processing plant, it might go to a manufacturer who actually puts these things together. And then you have Annie's, and that's us. And we, we design the product all the way back. And then it gets to the consumer. And, and across that, there are all these different issues. And we look at things from a food, people, and, and planet perspective. So really, this is kind of the issues-based approach we take in understanding these this farm-to-fork model. Um, so everything from or uh, organic to packaging, water waste, energy issues, social justice, community, workplace. This is kind of how we define sustainability um, from our perspective. And, and through that all, we, we look at ways that we can educate ourselves and others, how we can um, track and measure, because we always want to be knowing how are we doing, are we improving, are we, are we not improving, how can we make more improvements, and how we can inspire change. And this is really, again, we look to partner with experts um, and leaders in the field to continue to 
kind of spread the word in terms of how we are hoping to uh, create and ultimately uh, a more sustainable food system. So again, this farm to fork is really important. And another way to, to call this is, is life cycle analysis, but it, it really relates to thinking about our choices and, and what we do have impacts that go and they extend far beyond the reaches of our, our own fingertips. We, we have a lot of, um, I think, power as consumers to make a difference and, and recognizing where we have the opportunity to make the greatest difference. I am a huge passionate believer in the food because we consume it on a daily basis. You're having probably three meals a day, sometimes more. Every day you're putting in your body um, food that can be, you can be supporting something that that food can be coming from a place that supports your values, so a cleaner environment, uh, better for your health, um, supporting communities. These are things that you can make a difference with as a consumer, knowing that it extends all the way back um, to farmers who ultimately are, are growing the food. And so that really leads me into the eco-labels that we support um, are the USDA organic label and the non-GMO project verified um, organization. And we have been doing uh, organic, supporting certified organic products since 1998, actually, before it even became um, a federal um, um, rule in 2002. We started uh, with our first mac and cheese line, and we've continued to support and grow that ever since. We have more than 80% of our sales are coming from either certified or made with organic products. And we continue to work work very diligently um, to ensure the integrity of organic, to ensure that the messaging um, is getting out there. And, and quite honestly, a lot of the work we're doing more recently is thinking about the research and ways to continue to understand and um, demonstrate the performance and how it's making a positive difference. It's, it's truly the foundation for, for who we are as a company and, and our efforts in sustainability because we see organic as being um, uh, the integrity behind the, the, the label, all the work that went into creating it and continues to go into it to maintain its integrity is for us a, a, the true way in which we're becoming uh, and tr striving to be a more sustainable company. And because of the way that our food system has evolved and be has become very commodified, organic is a way that allows for the invisible to become visible. And, and that is really, um, I think, an important thing to take away at the end of the day is in understanding eco-labels and the role that they play is we're trying to decommodify, decommodify a system that has evolved for many reasons, um, some, not, not all of which are bad, but we're trying to understand and really trace things back to the source because that's where the impacts are taking place. We did um, at Annie's uh, a life cycle analysis, as I mentioned earlier, looking at this farm to fork impact. So when we looked at our products, more than half of our impacts um, from the energy was specifically looking at carbon take place at the farm and the, the processing level. So for us, it's very important to be you know, doing what we do at our own company headquarters, but really the change we're going to drive is going to happen upstream and in the supply chain at the farmer and the processing level. And it's why um, the certification system that USDA has supported through the organic label is such a critical factor in helping us to get there. And more recently with the non-GMO project, um, you know, coming into to play. We started working with them in 2009 and we continue to um, enroll our products in there. We have more than 20 products currently verified and we're continuing to grow that base because that has also become increasingly an important issue that again is, is telling you about where your food is coming from, how that food is being made, um, and, and we want to be able to share that with consumers in terms of demonstrating our support for, again, a more sustainable food system. So I know we're going to get into questions now um, more specifically, but that's just a little background on, on Annie's and, and the eco-labels we support. Thanks.